Right. Let's make some money. Uh, the 2008 film The Bank Job was based on the 1971 robbery of Lloyd's Bank in London's Baker Street. Incidentally, I live opposite, or used to live opposite that particular branch. Since that happened, not the, the robbery, not the movie, scenes like this one have become much rarer in reality. Robberies of British banks have fallen 90% in the past two decades, according to new figures out today from the British Bankers Association. In 2011, there were just 66 robberies. Now, you compare that to 1992, when there were 847. Various reasons for the decline, not least the improvements in security, closed-circuit television, and more CCTV cameras, more screens, and there's even a special fog to disperse Robbers. Jeffrey Robinson is with me. He's the author of The Laundrymen Inside the World's Third Largest Business. OK, it's a stick-up. I want to get in the vault. I want the money. Ah, well, in the vault you won't. You won't get in the vault. But if you wanted to get the money in the old-fashioned, this is a stick-up, right. Willie Sutton kind of bank robbery, right. there's no money. There's nothing to get. Well, there is something a little bit No, there. no, 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 no. Banks figured out long ago that if you came up to the teller and said, give me all the money, they only had 50 or 100 quid there. When people made a cash deposit of real worth, it went down the chute into the basement. There's no way you can get into the basement. There are CCTV cameras everywhere. So the only thing that's going to happen if you walk into a, a, a bank with a shotgun and say, give me the money, is you're going to end up on crime watch. And in that situation... We're seeing a, a... I mean, that's a fairly noticeable reduction, isn't it? Yes. Basically, only an idiot goes into a bank Total now. moron. Absolute moron. Right. So... But... But! I knew but, there was a but. Ah, there is uh, a but. There, we've What's done but? this before, you What's and I. What's the but? The but is, whereas the front door is manned with CCTV cameras and all sorts of security, the back door isn't. In the city of London, the major crime today is insider fraud in big corporations and in banks. So, we have, for example, we have the gold that was stolen at the airports. Yes. Uh, that was, oh, no, diamonds. I think it was diamonds. Gold before that. Do, 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 Brinks, Brinks, Brinks Max. Max. Yeah. So, we've got gold being stolen, we've got diamonds being stolen, and we had that credit card fraud earlier this year <laughs> with hundreds of millions supposedly well, taken. In the United States, you don't have to rob a bank, you simply have to rob Target, which is what happened with the credit cards in Target. Right. So, so what here. does this tell us, though, about the changing face of crime and the way people are stealing things. Well, people can steal on the internet. You can sit on your balcony in Monte Carlo and break into people's accounts and you don't have to buy a balaclava. Much cheaper and much better and you'll probably get away with it. But in the city of London, where three quarters of the crime, financial crime, goes unreported, your risk to reward ratio is very high. Now, because... when you say this, are you talking about things like the LIBOR scandal? Are you talking no. about, you know, sort of nefarious... Or are you talking about hard-fashioned insider dealing? Insider dealing, insider fraud. You rob a bank from the inside, and if you get caught, if you get caught, the bank will say, give us the money back, go away, we don't want any publicity, we don't want our public to know, we don't want our board to get upset about it, just How go away. How much of that's going on? Well, the Times reported, Sunday Times reported some years ago that there was $12 billion worth of fraud in the city. If you figure the three quarters to 80% go unreported, just do the multiplication. But it's what are they doing? Are people transferring it to their own accounts? Yes. Are they just... Moving it around? Moving there it was around? a great story years ago, a man in the middle, a guy actually worked out with, I think it was 11 banks and corporations. He would call the bank and he would say, I'm with the Quest Corporation and I'm your new contact. Right. Then he would call the Quest Corporation and say, I'm with such and such a bank, and he moved money between the two, and nobody bothered to check what he was doing. Good to see you, Jeff. Always good to see you. Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Many thanks indeed. Now, uh, you can uh, give us your thoughts at Richard Quest. If you think that you... Well, not that you want to rob a bank, but that times have changed. I'll have a profitable moment with some thoughts after the break.